Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, I'm going to prove again the statement, if a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle, then its opposite angles are supplementary. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, so this is learning task 5. Okay, I already gave a sketch of the proof of this statement in my previous video. Dahil may nag-request sa inyo na gumawa ako ng two-column proof ng statement na ito, yun yung my statements at my reasons, that's why I'm making this video. Yes, you heard it right. Pwede kayong mag-request kay Mom Timatishan. All you have to do is to send in your requests in the comment section below. Okay? Okay, let's start. So, here, we're given a quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Okay? And this quadrilateral is inscribed in circle E. This is it? So, circle E means um, the center of the circle is at this point, E. Okay? And clearly, you can see our quadrilateral. Okay? What is a quadrilateral? Any polygon that has four sides. Okay? So, napakaraming quadrilaterals. Okay? It can be a square, a kite, a rhombus, a rectangle, a parallelogram, a trapezoid. Okay? Basta may apat na sides. Quadrilateral yun. Okay? So, here, we're going to prove that yung mga opposite angles daw are supplementary angles. Okay? So, here we prove that angle ADC and angle ABC are supplementary. So, where is angle ADC? So, ADC. So, this angle. Okay? What about angle ABC? ABC. So, this angle. Okay? So, nakita nyo? Um, they are opposite angles, okay, of this quadrilateral, okay? We've proved that these two angles are supplementary angles. Actually, mas madali ng mag-name ng angle if we just use this um, point. Like, um, in replacement for angle A, B, C, you may use angle B. Nalama, that's okay. Okay? And then, instead of using angle A, D, C, you may just use angle D. Okay? Pero dito, gagamit ako ng three letters pa rin to name an angle. Kasi yun yung binigay. Okay? Pero again, yun nga, pwedeng, ang gamitin nyo lang is using a single point. Okay? This is angle B, and this is angle D. Okay? Okay. Let's start proving. Using the two-column approach. Okay, so ganito ang itsura ng two-column approach. On this side, you have statements. And on the other side, you have reasons. Okay? Oh, syempre. Alam na natin ang number one statement. Okay? At alam na rin natin ang number one reason. Okay? Ito siya. This one. Quadrilateral ABCD is inscribed in circle E. Okay? Anong reason? It's the given. Alright? Ito siya, oh. That one. Okay? So, we're given quadrilateral A, B, C, D is inscribed in circle E. Okay? Actually, yan ang pinakamadali sa two-column approach. The given. Okay? Okay. What could be the next statement? Okay? Okay. Ito ang next statement. Okay, disclaimer, this is not the only proof, okay? There are other proofs to this statement. Okay, ganun talaga ang proving. Alright? Okay, let's continue. Okay, so this is the second statement. Angle ADC and angle ABC are inscribed angles. Okay, if you check our figure, where is angle ADC? A, D, C. Yes, it's an inscribed angle. Why? Because yung vertex niya lies on the circle. Right? Tapos, two chords yung 
kanyang side. Okay? What about angle ABC? A, B, C. Yes, it is also an inscribed angle because its vertex lies on the circle. Okay? So, this is our second statement. What could be the reason? Definition of inscribed angles. Ganun lang. Okay, next. Now, if you know that these two angles are inscribed, what can you say about their intercepted arcs? Okay, so if you have an inscribed angle, what can you say about its intercepted arc? Okay, di ba alam nyo na yun? The measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted um, arc. So here, if we go back to our figure, okay, your angle ADC, where is that? A, D, C. Asan yung intercepted arc niya? Ito. Here. Right? Ito ang intercepted arc ni angle ADC. Right? What about the intercepted arc of angle ABC? Where is that? So, this is angle A, B, C. Yung intercepted arc niya, eto. Okay? This is it? Okay. So, this is how we relate the measures of the inscribed angle and its intercepted arc. Okay? So, the measure of angle ADC, this one ADC, is one half of the measure of its intercepted arc. Ito kasi ang intercepted arc niya. The arc ABC. ABC. Okay? Same din kay measure ni angle ABC. Okay? ABC. Ang intercepted arc ay this one, the arc A, D, C. Okay? So, si measure ni angle A, B, C is equal to one half, the measure of arc A, D, C. Okay? What is the reason? Of course, this one. The measure of an inscribed angle is half its intercepted arc. Alright? This is the fourth statement. Sabi dito, the measure of arc ABC, this one, A, B, C, plus the measure of arc ADC, arc ADC is equal to 360 degrees. And yes, because as you can see, these two arcs, diba, make a complete circle. And a complete circle measures 360 degrees. Okay? So, the reason behind this is, ayan, the arc addition postulate because we add these two um, arcs, okay? And then, we use this fact. A complete circle measures 360 degrees. And then, after this statement, we multiply both sides by one half. Ito siya, oh. Okay? Ang reason, multiplication property of equality. So, ibig sabihin, kapag meron kayong equal na statement, if you multiply both side by the same number, so ginawa natin, ito, one half, they are still equal. Okay? Yun ang ibig sabihin ng multiplication property of equality. And then, we evaluate. What is 1 half of 360 degrees? It's 180 degrees. And then, dinistribute ko yung 1 half dito at saka dito. Okay? Ang reason, distributive property of multiplication over addition. Okay? Kaya siya naging ganito. Alright? Okay. And then, ano, magsasubstitute tayo. Okay? Babalikan natin yung number 3. Going back to statement number 3. Okay? Nakita nyo? Saan equal ang one-half measure of arc ABC? 
Ito siya, oh. Your one-half measure of arc ABC is equal to measure of angle ADC. Okay? So, I'm going to replace this by measure of angle ADC. Okay? Ito rin. Saan ba equal ang one-half measure of arc ADC? Ito yun. Diba? Equal siya kay measure of angle ABC. So, I'm going to replace this one-half measure of arc ADC by measure of angle ABC. Okay? At yun ang magiging next statement natin. Okay? Tingnan nyo. That one. Okay? Do you see? I replace this by measure of angle ADC. And then, I replace this by measure of angle ABC. And that is equal to 180 degrees. At ang reason, from number 3 and number 6, so from statements 3 and 6, we just use substitution. Okay? And then, that's it. Kapag ang sum ng two angles ay equal sa 180 degrees, you say angle ADC and angle ABC are supplementary angles. Anong reason? Definition ng supplementary angles. Ito ang statement number 8 natin. That one. Okay? Coming from statement number 7. Okay? Kasi nga, their sum is equal to 180. If the sum of two angles is equal to 180 degrees, we say the two angles are supplementary. Okay? Because that's the definition of supplementary angles. Okay? Now, we, we prove the second pair of angles. Okay? Diba? We have a second pair of angles. Ito pa. We prove that angle DAB and angle DCB are also supplementary. So, ito lang yun. This angle and this angle. We prove that they are supplementary angles. Okay? That's a D, A, B. Okay? And then this is, this one. This is um, D, C, B. Okay? Okay, let's continue our two-column proof. So, how are you so far? Nakakasunod ba kayo? Okay? So, if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. You may want to share this video to your friends also. Okay? Okay, let's continue. So, after proving that the first two angles, two opposite angles or supplementary angles, we now prove the um, the other two opposite angles. Okay? So, we make use of this. Ito lang yung apat na angles doon sa quadrilateral natin. Okay? So, you can verify this in the figure. Okay? Ito lang yung four um, measures of angles. Okay? Ang tawag doon, interior angles. And if you add them, the answer is 360 um, degrees. Okay, why? Because the sum of the interior angles of any quadrilateral, any four-sided polygon is 360 degrees. Okay? So, yun yung ito yung mag-justify ng statement natin na ito. Okay? Okay. Now, alam nyo na the measure of these two angles, right, is equal to what? is equal to 180 degrees, right? So, I'm going to replace this by 180 degrees, okay? So, that will be our statement number 10. So, this is our statement number 10. So, I replace um, this um, sum by 180 degrees, okay? And then, I just copied um, plus measure of angle DAB, plus measure of angle DCB equals 360 degrees. Ang reason from number 7, okay, you make substitution. Okay? 
So I think from number 7 and 9, you may add 9. Okay? Kasi we make use of this statement. Right? Ito yung sinubstitute ko dito sa 9. So, dapat meron ditong from statement 7 and 9, we make substitution. Okay? Okay, let's continue. From statement number 10, we add negative 180 degrees. Okay? To both sides of the equation. Okay? Kapag nag-add tayo ng negative 180 degrees dito, mawawala ito. Okay? And then if we add here a negative 180 degrees, ang mangyayari, you have 180 degrees. Okay? So, eto o, tingnan nyo, nawala ang 180 degrees dito kasi nag-add tayo sa statement number 10 ng negative 180. Dito rin, nag-add tayo ng negative 180, that's why we have 180 degrees na lang. Okay? This statement is justified by addition property of equality. Okay? Ibig sabihin nun, if you add um, the same amount to both sides of the equation, equal pa din yun. Okay? So, that's it. Tingnan nyo, ang sum ng dalawang angles na ito, dalawang measures ng angle, ay equal sa 180 degrees. So, we say... Angle DAB and angle DCB are also supplementary. Okay? Why? Definition of supplementary angles. Because their sum is equal to 180 degrees. Okay? This is the end of the proof of the statement. If a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle, then its opposite angles are supplementary. Okay? So, if you have... Other requests, just send in your request in the comment section below. Okay? I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.